Today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way that we found to shallow the golf club on the downswing. If you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button. The best comment of the week will get some really cool stuff from us in the mail, but you gotta be a subscriber to win. So, we talked about the S word, right? The big shallowing, it's all the buzz in golf. Huge buzz. We found through just years and years of doctoral research <laughs> the best way to do this. Yeah. Actually, we've just looked at the history of golf and found the best way to do this. So right. let's have Sean set up here at our plane board. And what we mean by shallowing is when you get to the top of the backswing, this golf club, the head of the golf club is coming down a little shallower than the hands, right? Like so if that's, this is steep, it comes down a little bit lower. Right. So shallower. Not a drastic thing. The pitch of the club. Yes, the pitch okay. of the club. We want the pitch of the club off that 90 degrees, kind of matching the elbow plane. So let's go to the top of the backswing. Okay. And Sean's pretty well matched up, kind of parallel to this plane line, right? Uh -huh. He's a little bit above it, but everything looks good. Uh -huh. Now from there, shallow the club on the downswing. All right, did you see that? Let's do it again. <laughs> Watch all these drastic moves. <laughs> so we're being a little sarcastic because that's literally the best way that we found. And again, we didn't invent this. We just watched great players throughout history. Get the club up in a really good spot, almost pre-shallowed at the top. Yeah. All you got to do is make a normal downswing. And, and to me, all that is mm -hmm. that you need to do, shift the pressure, yep. start rotating the body, yep. lower the arms yep. with the same wrist structure and arm structure you had at the top. It's already inside your hands to begin That's with. That's right. So why would you want to continue to put it way under plane? All you got to do is lower the arms, turn the body, shift the pressure. Now I'm in that perfect delivery position. Club it slightly inside the hands, face square. Now I can rotate. Yep, because, right? Let's, let's do that again. Come halfway down. Delivery, bam. So at the top, I'm sorry, let's go to the top. The club head is on the back side of the hands. Uh -huh. As you come down, uh -huh. at some point, Right? Every golf swing has to get the club head now in front of the hands. Uh -huh. So to do that, right, we're going to go up, drop the club down at shallow, uh -huh. and then the club's going to start to steepen, uh -huh. and you're on top of the golf ball right now. Uh -huh. Damn. Now, what we see so often, let's go back up to the top, is we see the club steepen early and then shallow late. So that drives the hands up and out. At the wrong time brings the hosel coming into the golf ball, under plane, and you're gonna get a whole variety of nasty heel, shots. Toe, Everything. Poor club face control. Everything. So, so what about this we're seeing with the motion that a lot of guys are trying to do, pitch the hands way out. Okay. Will that shallow it? Uh, for some players it does. For mm -hmm. most players that we see, it steepens it because they yeah. bring everything out. Because yeah, they, they do the arm wrestle move yes. with it where they internally rotate the Not shoulder good. and they go this way. Right, but let's say it does shallow. Okay, now I've successfully Boom. shallowed it. Okay, now here, right here's the golf ball again. Uh -huh. Now look at how close the hands are. To the target line. To the target line. Now what do you got from there? You got two options. Uh, to drop it way under plane. Yep. Or to try to steepen it, which may at that point pitch it out yes. too much. And you may make a decent pass at it from there, but we feel like that's an awful lot of work. It's a lot of work. And it's unnecessary. Yep. So again, you can get the club severely off plane by shallowing it at mm -hmm. the top, like super shallow. So go to the top mm -hmm. and kind of severely off plane, kind mm -hmm. of really already shallowed yeah. or get the club severely off plane up. We see this with a lot of guys thinking, I'm get it up here, now really kind of under. rebound and whip it under. What most golfers, the overwhelming majority of golfers who do that come in so shallow and so under it. Yeah. They're gonna, if the good players, they're gonna hit these nasty hooks and yeah. blocks. Their poor players are going to hit behind the ball all day. Absolutely right. So just to do this and then to, to try to shallow it and then whip it around later, you're asking yourself to do a lot of things in a short period of time. A short period of time, less really than a quarter of a second. Unnecessary. Yeah. So again, let's let's kind of put. I'll just kind of put. And we we actually do this on the range. We'll get. Uh, where's our sticks at? We got a couple long sticks here. Yeah. You want this long? So we one? just got two alignment sticks taped together, and we'll put the golfer. We'll let them set up here at the plane. We'll kind of put this right up through the elbow. Good. Okay, yep. come on up. What we love about this too, it prevents a lot of arm lift, which gets the club yes. off plane. So that's top. Right here. Uh -huh. The hands have got to come down uh -huh. as the body rotates. Uh -huh. The club's already shallow. Uh -huh. Now you can get on top of it. Uh -huh. 
hand, the club's coming out, it's boom. Club steepens, club it's pitches out. It's the most normal looking, traditional looking backswing, downswing combination that we see. Plain vanilla. Plain vanilla. It works. It creates a lot of neutral ball flights, which means pretty straight. And it works and it doesn't require a lot of maintenance. It doesn't require a lot of swishing and scissoring the club, hands back and forth. Like how much shallowing is enough? How, how do you know you're doing enough? How do you know you're not overdoing it? Right. If you can just pretty much go up and down this elbow plane line that we keep talking about, it tends to, hit, to help you hit the ball pretty straight. The club faces square and you get a decent pivot. That's exactly right. Ball goes straight. That's exactly right. So let's give some benchmarks. Okay. So let's, let's set up to it again. Okay. A really good benchmark for us is let's go halfway back. Let's go left arm parallel. We want the hands and the entire club to be pretty much on this elbow plane at this point. Yeah, and you've seen us draw in other videos. Yes. This is a great way to play off speed. This will be the best wedge thing, wedge drill you can do for your games. Get right here. Yeah. You're on plane. Now you just reverse it coming down. Yeah, and, and I stole this from Mike. You need to be able to hit a shot from anywhere in here. Yes. If, if you make a backswing that's like this, like we see a lot of guys do, how are you going to play an off speed shot from there? It's very difficult. I mean, you have to wait so long. Again, unnecessary. The timing is difficult. That's right. Set it on plane here. Now I can just change direction. Hit. I can hit any shot I want any at shot. any moment in time on the backswing. Now, the really cool thing about this is, let's go back to that left arm parallel. So a golf swing takes basically a second from start to impact. Half of that second is over with when this club, when this left arm gets parallel to the on ground. The so you've got half of a second left. You don't want that last half of a second to try to reorganize what the club's doing. It's such a difficult way to play golf. It is, and that's, and again, unnecessary. And if it's more difficult, it's harder to repeat, it's less consistent, and sure, you may hit some great shots, but you can hit a lot of foul balls. And again, it, we don't have to look past the best players in the world to really see the successful clues they leave behind for us. Swing it on plane. It, all, it, you know, not every player. player does it, but a lot of them have. And a, and lot them great, a lot of great players talk about trying to be on plane. Yeah, and a lot of them do. And this is how you do it. So again, the benchmark we'd like to see you go for is this left arm parallel going back. Get everything on plane. Then from here, just make a small turn, keep going back. That's good. And then back down. Those are two shots like that. great little drills. Left arm parallel, then change directions coming down. Left arm parallel, little, pump. little turn, and come down. That's going to start to get you more on plane. If you're more on plane, you have to do very little to shallow the club from there. You actually have to do things to not shallow it. Yeah. So it makes the downswing much easier. It makes it way easier to shallow. And that means straighter, longer shots.